let's start this countdown off with the villain of Final Fantasy XI, the Shadow Lord. His backstory is kind of complicated, so I'll do my best to abridge it. Also, just for the record, I never actually played that much of Eleven, so I apologize in advance if I get stuff wrong. The Shadow Lord was once a man named Raugrim. Raugrim is a Galka, which are basically the most heavily persecuted race in Vanadil, the world of Eleven. And not only that, but he's what's known as the Tailkeeper, which means he carries with him the ancestral memory of his people. So, as you can imagine, he's kinda got a lot of baggage carrying around the memories of an oppressed people. This experience gave him sort of a unique empathy for the Beastmen, the recurring enemies of Final Fantasy XI, and this ended up causing a rift between him and his best friend, who eventually betrayed and killed him. After all of this took place, his sadness and anger manifested in a powerful new form called the Shadow Lord, who took command of the Beastmen to form an army and exact his revenge on Vanadil. Right off the bat, the Shadow Lord is one of the more menacing figures in the Final Fantasy Rogues Gallery. I mean, just look at him! That thing ain't a letter opener. His design is just really, really cool. He's got this sort of demonic look going for him. And while most villains in his position would have big, scary armor, the Shadow Lord has this really creepy, bony exoskeleton thing, and it looks really cool and creepy. What's more, even though he's definitely no pushover in hand-to-hand -hand combat, the characters of Eleven fear him more for his military prowess than his own fighting abilities. See, most Final Fantasy villains are either lone wolves, armchair generals, or abominations from beyond space and time. So to see an overlord who rides into battle at the head of his troops is something surprisingly rare for this series. However, while I've gone on and on about how cool and intimidating he is, he hasn't really got much in the way of personality. I mean, yeah, Raugrim had personality, but once the Shadow Lord awakens, he's just the physical manifestation of Raugrim's anger. So, anger is really all the emotion he gets. Then again, how much subtlety can you really expect from a character whose name is Shadow Lord? His backstory may be complex, but his character really isn't. Even still, he's a cool concept executed reasonably well, and he's a worthy final opponent for vanilla Final Fantasy XI, and a perfect starting point for this countdown.